So I was presenting uh, my design work one time in a design jury. This was a long time ago. And um, out of that uh, was one of the most stressful, uh, worst <laughs> design reviews I've ever been in my life. Um, but despite that um, stress, um, I learned some really important lessons from that, which I still remember today. So I was um, a third year architecture student uh, studying in Rome, in Italy, um, which for me was an uh, amazing experience, uh, completely different place, different culture, different language, different set of teachers than I was used to. Uh, so that was a challenge, but a, a great challenge for me to be in a, in a foreign place as a young American student. So um, as part of this design project, we were given a letter to read. And the letter uh, was about 2,000 years old. It was written uh, describing a villa on the sea um, where the author of the letter um, spent some time. So our project was to interpret that letter and to design the villa based on our interpretation. So the problem was, or, or my response to that was, I'll read this letter, but I'm going to interpret it in how I see it, how I read it, which is to reinterpret it in a modern way, in a way for, for our times. For This was still the 20th century, but the end of the 20th century. Um, architecture, I believe, um, and maybe all design, uh, should reflect the time and the place, that it, when it's made, where it's made. This is how I see design, um, especially architectural design. So. Part of the problem, though, was why the jury and why even my classmates, to be honest, were so negative and so critical of my project was uh, I think they had a different expectation. They expected, well, if the letter is 2,000 years old, then the building should be 2,000 years old. It should be something like interpreted literally um, as it reads. And I just had a different different view of that, a different way of thinking about how to translate those words into some kind of built, built form. So during the review, I was standing there being really criticized, being attacked, um, sweating uh, as I presented the work. And finally, when that horrible experience ended, I went over, sat down, just trying to decompress and sort of relax a bit. And uh, that's when something very important happened. Um, the director of that architecture program, uh, Gloria Sama, came to me and sat down and said, oh, Paul, that was a pretty tough review, right? And I said, yes, Gloria, that was really tough. You know, I'm a bit still shaking, perhaps. And she said, you know what? Don't worry about it. Uh, you did fine. Um, I, I know what you were trying to do. I saw it. You were bringing your vision, your personal interpretation uh, into the project. And uh, you did fine. Don't worry about it. So that was very important, um, what she said, um, because first of all, it made me feel better. And second of all, it taught me an important lesson about design and the role of uh, individuality, perhaps, or of individual vision in design. Um, and that's something very important for all designers, whether it's an architect, a graphic designer, a painter, a sculptor, a filmmaker, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, that, that's the main thing you actually bring into design, um, is your personality, your individuality, your skill, your talent, your background, um, your vision. And I kind of believe all good and um, something like relevant design uh, is, is founded in that, plus your technical skills, plus your education, plus all those other factors. But that um, individuality and personal vision um, is a great driver of, of good design. So the second important lesson I brought away from that um, was also from the same teacher, from Gloria. And what I always appreciated about her, uh, even then as, as a student, was that she treated us as, um, as equals or as partners, um, as young architects and not uh, dumb, inexperienced uh, architecture students. And she would always say, architects, come. We have a meeting now. Or 
architects come, you know, let's discuss this assignment. And I always felt very empowered by that, or I felt very, it gave me confidence that, you know, even though I'm inexperienced, I do have skill already, and I do have um, ideas that are, that are worthy, you know, of being discussed. So that approach to teaching actually uh, impacts me now, even today. I, I still remember how that made me feel confident. It made me feel good about my design. So I approach my students the same way. I treat them as partners, as collaborators um, in this kind of design process or in the educational process. And I always say, you know, as graphic designers, what do you think about this? Not as, oh, as young students, what do you think about this? And I hope that the students feel that from me, this sense of respect for them, for actually the skills that they already have, and for their different vision, a different approach to design than I have as an architect. And so uh, out of something initially bad, uh, this terrible, stressful design review uh, came some excellent and important lessons for me that I still carry with me today.